Welcome to Roofing Road Trips with Heidi. Explore the roofing industry through the eyes of a long-term professional within the trade. Listen for insights, interviews, and exciting news in the roofing industry today. Hello, and welcome to another Roofing Road Trips from Roofer's Coffee Shop. My name is Heidi Ellsworth, and I am here today to talk about one of my favorite things during the year, and that's the Western Roofing Expo. I'm as you, some of you may know, I've been involved with Western States for a very long time, most of my career. I love these guys. So we invited Joel Vieira and Alec Ward to join us today so we could talk about the upcoming show in September and really find out all the inside news so you can all get registered and we can all see each other in Vegas. So gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Hey, Heidi. Good to be here. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, let's start out with some introductions. So Alec, let's start with you. If you could introduce yourself, what you do with Western States, that would be great. Sure. So my name is Alec Ward. I am the uh, director of membership and trade show at Western States. I started out doing just the membership and then uh, roles changed and I help out with the expo primarily. Um, most of my job throughout the year is, is just helping manage the exhibitors, uh, getting them signed up for booths and, and just helping through the process of, of getting to the show and, and doing it successfully. I love it. I love it. I know it's a big job. It's a really big job. Joel, can you introduce yourself? Tell us what you do there and give us some information about the Western States Roofing Contractors Association overall. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Heidi. Uh, my name is Joel Vieira. I'm the executive director of the Western States Roofing Contractors Association. I've been here 22 years now. Uh, originally, I had the role, many roles. I uh, Basically, I've been membership and the foundation coordinator, um, you know, raising funds for scholarships and uh, the expo, uh, all various roles with the expo. Um, now the executive director, I oversee the association, the volunteers, the staff, um, just make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, you know, Western States was formed in 1974 with a contractor in mind, always trying to do things to um, make the contractor's job easier and more uh beneficial for them um you know we've been working on some great things at western states this last year we've been putting a lot of focus on our safety committee uh right before this show here sometime between this recording and the show we're gonna uh, be releasing a free app to all of our members um the safety companion app um which will make your your safety recording and um, logging much much easier um yeah, like I said, we're just here for the contractor. We've got 26 board members. They're all roofing contractors. We're all in various committees trying to make things better for roofing contractors in the industry. So uh, if you've got any time on your hands, check out WSRCA.com. Check out all our benefits. Uh, if you are a member, thank you so much for being a member. If you're not, uh, take, a, take a step in with us. Uh, we promise you, uh, you'd enjoy it. Uh, very affordable. Um, in comparison to a lot of other association dues. Um, again, we're, we're not here to make money. We're here to help the industry. So uh, like I said, if you're, if you're interested in taking a look at WSRCA.com or giving us a call in the office, we'd be happy to help. I tell you what, the value, so much value. And there's some great podcasts and videos that we've done in the past talking about that. So if you're out there, check out the membership. And plus, if you're members, you're going to get a discount on the Western Roofing Expo, which is great. And so, Alec, why don't you tell us all about the Western Roofing Expo, a little bit of history and just kind of give us a, you know, the elevator speech. Right. Well, like Joel said, yeah, it started out in 1974. It's a small group of roofers that uh, we're just noticing the unique problems that uh, roofers in the West face. And um, 1974 is also their, the first expo, the tiny little thing. And from, since they're almost 50 years from now, it's become this wow. almost 200 uh, company-wide thing that we have going on with the show. Um, it's right. one of the biggest shows in the industry. This is number 49, Heidi, number 40. Number 49. I cannot believe it. It is like such a great show and such a rich history. I love it. So, okay, Alec, what are you excited about for this year's Western Roofing? What are some of the highlights? Well, for me personally, it's always just seeing people that I only see at the show every year. get get to see them there. The people that, um, you know, sign up for become members back when I was just starting out eight years ago and seeing them continue to come. Same with the companies too. We have these small companies that join the show and just watching them grow. That's my favorite thing. Um, this this year, especially, um, one thing I'm looking forward to seeing is um, 
Beacon's got the biggest booth we've ever had on the show. Wow. And so I'm just curious to see what they're going to do with that. And it's uh, and is it 20 by 50 booth or no, no, it's too big in that. It's like 30 by 50, something like that. Very, very big area. Well, after what they did at the IRE, yeah, who knows? Let's right. be watching that. Joel, what are some of the favorite, what are some of the things you're excited about with this year's show? I'm always really proud of the educational offerings that we offer. Uh, we have 26 seminars uh, over spanning over two days. Uh, they, you know, they do not run concurrent with the trade show floor. So all of our exhibitors and, and our attendees have, you know, the time to spend with each other. But, um, you know, we've got seminars from everything from technical to legal, to safety, to, you know, just sales and maximizing your, your, your sales team and how to run your business better. Um, you know, we've got the young, uh, young roofing professionals have a uh, round table, um, uh, about getting older and, you know, basically the pitfalls that they've experienced, uh, sharing their, their, their stories. And then, um, you know, we have a breakfast, a mimosa breakfast with the national women in roofing, um, which yeah. is always a great event, uh, really great to partner up with them. Um, so I would say, you know, educating serious contractors, you know, it's Las Vegas, so we're always going to have a good draw. We're gonna have a lot of people there, but I always really enjoy, you know, quality over quantity. Uh, myself and the folks mm -hmm. that are out there wanting to learn and better their businesses are, you know, those are the people that excite me most. And, you know, we really try to deliver ROI to those people, um, you know, first and foremost. Yeah, I that's I, I love I love the National Women in Roofing every year. I think that's great. And I also um, the educational classes and I, Alec, I have to agree with you. It's all about um, the friendships and the networking there. But I also have to say I get really excited about the Davis Foundation and what they do with the golfing and the um and the shooting and then the auction. So I know we're going to get that to that in just a minute, but I just, when I kind of think about what am I excited about, those are some of the things top of my mind too. Um, but for people who haven't been there before, um, Alec, how, what would you say, what, what are some of the tips you would have for first timers to really maximize their experience? Uh, the first thing I would do is I would get in your phone and go to the, uh, the app store Type in WRE 2023 and get the uh, the official app for, for the expo. Um, on there, you can, it's sponsored by Rufus Coffee Shop. It's sponsored by Dataforma. Uh, it's got a whole list of all our exhibitors. And the best part about it is you can select which ones you want to see. And once, once you do that, it populates the uh, trade show floor map. And so you can navigate your whole way through there, seeing the exhibitors you want to see most and make sure you don't miss, miss a thing. Yeah. I use it every year. Tim loves it. He uses it all oh, the yeah. time. He loves your I app. I mean, yeah. um, trust me, he has some very um, big, he has a, a big opinion about apps. So <laughs> he, he loves the WRE. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Rubber's Coffee Shop, so proud to be a sponsor on the app. And I would say, not just first timers, everybody should download it. Everybody should use it. It is, it's so powerful um, and really can make your event a lot smoother. You know, where you're going, you've already kind of got it mapped out ahead of time. Um, what, Joel, you've been doing this forever, 22 years. Um, what are some of your tips for newcomers? I would say for newcomers, especially Western States members, to take a little bit of time and visit the, the member lounge or the Western States booth during the show. The member lounge, we always have, you know, a little bit of breakfast and coffee and a place to just kind of relax and recharge yourself. And uh, it's always a small setting where you could meet some of our board members and other volunteers and just other members. Um, you know, one of the biggest things you can do by being involved in any association is is networking and, you know, finding your peers who have similar um, successes and failures and, you know, just kind of talking it out and learning from others. You can really go far. Um, you know, the Western States booth, same idea. Um, you could really learn about we have a lot of membership benefits that people don't even realize that, that we have. And so you can talk to our staff or, or any of our board members that are in the booth. Um, we have a great view of the demo stage and the roofing games um, and roofers feud from our booth. And we've got, we've got a beer. If you'd like a beer and you just want to take a load off, um, you know, there's not a place, a lot of places to sit on a trade show floor. So you could actually sit at our trade show floor booth and hang out or go to our lounge. And like I said, just get to know your fellow members because, um, you know, without, you may have one connection that, that can 
make them make all the difference in the world. So, um, you know, getting on the trade show floor, um, you know, seeing the products and services are great, but like, just, you know, if you ever need to take a load off, please come to our booth. Uh, we'll give you a beer and, uh, introduce you to some of our products and services and things that we do. Uh, one of the great things about Western States we're really proud of is all these additional services that we've got for our members. None of them cost extra. It's all inclusive right. in your in your dues. So, um, you know, we're a true nonprofit, and the 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 money that we make, if we have a successful year, it goes right back into our into our members. Um, always looking to do more different things, more safety, more technical, more legal. Um, we've got a great team of consultants and um, advisors to to help our members. So uh, that's what I would say. Uh, get get to know some people. Get to know Trent Cotney. Get to know yeah. Steve Dasadil. Get to know Ken Klein. Get to know some of the board members that you know feel your pains and and uh, can share their experiences with you. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. I can tell you, I'm lucky to be on the advisory associate advisory board and I get to hang out with all those board members. They're so smart. They have great businesses. So I love going by the members lounge. I also say come by Reaver's Coffee Shop because we're going to have a live soundstage. So we're going to be doing videos from there. We're going to be working with people. And then you have to look at all the fun things that you do. So let's just talk real quick. Um, Alec, maybe you can start us out on the roofing games and roofers feud what are they and how should people um get involved right right so roofing games that's a a really high energy event that's on day two of the show at the very end and it's sponsored by malarkey and it just it brings some of the fastest shinglers in the western region uh, to compete against one another to see who can get that the job done the quickest uh, we also have some spots open for those that want to try to challenge them too. And so if there's anyone out there that wants to to try their hand at this, um, I'd recommend just reaching out to us directly. You can go on to info at WSRCA.com and um, we'll get you in touch with Malarkey and see if we can get you up there to, to compete. Yeah, you signed up. So that's, show that's, us how fast yeah. you are. We, yeah. we, have, we do have a three-time, three-peat champion currently. Uh, uh, from Holland Roofing in Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, I, I'm almost certain he will come and defend his title. And so, uh, if you think you could just get on one of those roofs and beat him, you're probably not. You might have to do a little practicing. Um, yeah, he takes great pride in his uh, in his craft and his speed, and and uh, uh, so that'll be a lot of fun this year. Uh, looking looking to see if anyone could dethrone him. I, 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 I love I, it. I doubt. Yeah. Well, well, I yeah. know. And this is going to put the challenge out there. Everybody likes a little competition and a little bit right. of a challenge. So, right. and what, what's Roofer's Feud? Uh, so Roofer's Feud, it's um, as opposed to the roofing games, which is more like a test of your roofing athleticism. Uh, the Roofer's Feud is more testing your roofing knowledge. So it, it's, it's a more of a trivia based competition. Um, Trent Cotney and, and, uh, and John Kenny, they'll ask questions uh, on um, roofing history materials you name it just things like that see who, who's the, the smartest roofer out there and that takes place at the end of day two also right yeah, yeah we try to we really try to just you know sometimes uh at the end of the day on a trade show it can get a little dry and you've been walking around and you're tired and you maybe you've seen everybody or you just kind of you know we, we try to keep things light and fun and do things that other shows aren't necessarily doing um, to try to really make ourselves stand out and and have a really great vibe about the show, um, to where you know it's not just not just educational, um, but it's it's like fun and entertaining. Um, so we we take great pride in, in in trying to deliver in both of those areas. You do a great job of it. I, it's really great. It's really a solid two day show where people are staying. They're on the show floor. They're in the membership lounge. Um, it, it's great, but. Those two days of the trade show um, are awesome, but the day before the show opens is fun day. Monday now? No, <laughs> Sunday. Is it Sunday back again? I can't Saturday, remember. Monday, <laughs> Saturday. Yeah. Fun day, Saturday. That's it. Um, and that is all the great events for the Davis Foundation. Again, I'm a trustee on there. So are you, Joel. I'm so proud of that. And we, I'm, the fundraisers that go on that Saturday are just great. Can you tell us, g- give everybody a little bit of uh, around that and how they can get involved? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we have a, a golf and a sporting plays tournament the the morning of Saturday morning the 23rd um it's a great they're both great events uh the golf tournament is at Revere Golf Club which is an out, outstanding 
golf club in the Henderson Hills overlooking the strip. Um, it's a challenging course, but, but fun at the same time. It's in great condition. Uh, we, uh, sold out last year. Uh, and so that's 128 golfers. Um, we have great prizes. Um, you know, both tournaments are uh, sponsored by beacon. Um, and, uh, over in, um, Boulder Ridge, we've got the, uh, pro gun club and we have our sporting glaze tournament and it's a, that's great fun as well. Um, it's, uh, it's in desert terrain. You're shooting at rabbits and, uh, birds, I believe they're called, uh, <laughs> not, not real rabbits and birds. Everybody. It's so, yeah, playing, not real stuff. Plays version. Um, but it's a great time. They have these four person golf carts and, and, you know, everyone goes out and has a great time. We, uh, um, they come back in and have a great lunch. And again, it's a great opportunity to network and just have fun. Um, it's, you know, it's some, sometimes you just need to, to go out and, you know, meet people and just do what you enjoy. Um, so that's the morning events for the Davis foundation. Um, in the evening, it's our, um, it's our, uh, we're calling first time we're calling it the wild west welcome event and auction. Um, everyone is encouraged to dress up in their best cowboy and cowgirl garb. Uh, we will have prizes for the best dress. Last year we had some outstanding, uh, costumes come through. Uh, some maybe weren't even costumes, just real life, uh, yeah. cowboy, cowgirl attire. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we have a live and silent auction that takes place. The live auction takes place that Saturday night. And then the silent auction takes place for a few weeks and then closes at the end of the show. Um, but we've got, some, uh, the trustees all participate. Um, you know, myself, Heidi, uh, Dennis Ryan, Bill Bailey, uh, Greg Bloom and Chuck Chapman. Uh, we all put on a, a pretty good uh, production. Uh, and we, like I said, we have some live auctioneers, we've got food and drink. Um, it's a really, really great event to absolutely for a great cause. Um, every year Davis gives out $50,000 in scholarships, which has got to be one of the highest in the industry. Um, yeah. we're really, really proud of that. Um, and it takes a village. Uh, so it takes a lot of coordination from the staff and from our trustees, but it also, uh, you know, can't happen without the great generosity of our donors and our, and our, uh, auction bidders. Um, we, we have some great items, uh, as usual, we've got a lot of jewelry, K post, uh, and Trent Cotney donated a lot of jewelry. Uh, we've got um, some luxury purses and accessories. Tom Asbury donated a few of those things. Uh, I can't name them all, but um, yeah. you know, Eagle Roofing. We got some products. great trips. Eagle Roofing Products has their Fin and Feather, yeah. um, which is a hunting and fishing trip in um, Idaho, which is so exclusive, a priceless item. Uh, yeah. Eagle always provides us with a great. Uh, I think it used to be a trip to New York, but now I think it's a trip like several choices that you can make. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got some great items all go to a great cause. Uh, it's a lot of work for everyone involved, but at the end of the day, when we're all done, it's, it feels so good to see 10 scholarship winners up there. Um, colleges, uh, you know, for, for us folks that did it 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was somewhat more affordable. It's so expensive now. Um, so these scholarships really go a long way for the education and, and everyone that applies, um, you know, as a, as a child of a member or, a, you know, like a lot of these people work for like the people in the office or the people that are actually up on the roofs that don't make a lot of money. So it's a great way for, for us to give back and, and, uh, award, reward these people for their hard work and invest in their future. Yeah, I is it's and the a number of the students actually come to the event. They actually are introduced before the auction starts, but we get to meet them. They get to be a part of everything. They get to be a part of the trade show. Um, so it's just really embracing that next generation and helping them to get the education that they need. Uh, it's such a it's such a great cause and so much fun. It's so much fun. It's a fun way to raise money. So, um, okay. You know, we kind of talked about the beginning, the trade show floor, the education you mentioned, Joel, but I also would like to just any, and Joel, maybe we can start with you, any special speakers, um, keynotes or any, anything like that, that pe folks should be aware of. Yeah. Just if, if, is just starting with the beginning of things, the, our seminars, you know, like I said, we have 26 of those. The, we're always proud of the three services that Western States provide. And that'd be Trent Cotney as our, as our general counsel and legal advisor, Ken Klein as our tech technical advisor and Steve Zacidel is our safety consultant. All three have seminars on uh, Sunday and Monday. 
Um, you know, so, you know, just kind of showcasing their knowledge and what they're doing for our members is always an interesting thing. Um, and then the legislative luncheon is always great. Uh, you know, we've, we've got Craig Bright up, who's our political correspondent. Uh, and then McKay Daniels always provides some great insight. He's a, uh, the great wealth of knowledge for the industry. And, uh, you know, I've gotten to know him over the years and man, he's a, he's a super guy and, uh, yeah. he's all in it for the industry. So he, they, they'll be speaking on Sunday and on Monday, uh, keeping with the theme of the annual luncheon, uh, sponsored by Malarkey. We've got, um, Dan Natterman, um, who's a stand up comedian. Uh, we, we, we've done the inspirational speakers and, you know, we may go back to that at some point, but something about just laughing your butt off at the annual yeah. luncheon and then heading to the trade show floor is, is just, it's, you know, we've had some speakers the last few years. I, I literally like my face hurts because I've been yeah. smiling for the last like hour. So, um, that's basically, um, the speakers that will be, will be, um, you know, showcasing for the annual lunch and the legislative lunch. And then, like I said, uh, you know, um, some of our own, our own people from in-house that are going to be doing sessions, uh, as far as education goes, but we've got a, a great, list of seminars. If you go to westernroofingexpo.com, you can take a look at our events and schedule and take a look at, uh, like, really have a powerhouse schedule that we're really proud of. Yeah, it's going to be great. I love it. Um, and I, yeah, I love McKay. He's a great speaker. Just got to echo that. So good. Okay. So Alec, how does everyone, how do they register? How do they get involved? When should they do it? How about a little bit of hotel information? So all you got to do is go to westernroofingexpo.com. And if you're an attendee, you'll, you'll see a little attendee in the menu there. Click on that. Scroll down. You'll, you'll, you'll know what to do at that point. It'll say uh, register here. Yeah. It's, it's pretty simple stuff. They should be doing it now, right? I oh, mean, yeah, do it, don't do procrastinate. Now. Yeah. You, if you, you do wait till the, the last day, like on site, you're going to be waiting in line for, for a while. Yeah. It, it's so much easier to either use the, uh, go online and do it. You can even probably do it through your app. You download the app and you can probably register there. Great. We'll, we'll, call, yeah. we'll call is much uh, more friendly than uh, the, the line oh, yeah. of having to actually register on site. You'll show up, get your name, and they'll print out your badge for yeah. you. And, so and, and, and we have rooms at the Paris, which is our headquarters hotel, and uh, Planet Hollywood, which is right next door. And then the newly rebranded Horseshoe, which was formerly the Bally's, which is connected to the Paris. So we have rooms at all three right. hotels, uh, depending on your price range and, and just taste. Um, yeah. and yeah, all three are really easy to get from, you know, your, your room to the actual convention center at the Paris. So, um, you know, we, we really hope you could join us this year. Uh, we, we really, um, take a lot of pride in what we're, we're putting out there. And, and, uh, like I said, we're a great team of, uh, staff and volunteers, uh, roofing contractors and manufacturers and suppliers and media. We all really work together. Every board meeting we get together and, and talk about how do we make the show better? And right. When that, even, even after a successful show, we, how do we make the show better? And we always tinker and tweak to try to, to try to fulfill that goal. Um, so please know we, we, our end user, our contractor are always at the, at the forefront of our mind. And we're always trying to make things just better for you. So, um, you know, please come out and, and uh, enjoy the show and give us your feedback, good or bad. We really appreciate yeah, that. And we really recommend to get the whole package, do all the classes, the education. That's really, you know, when we talked about that experience. That's so important. But if you can only do the trade show, that is free. Mm -hmm. So in Roofers Coffee Shop, we have information all over the Western States um, directory with that information. We actually just did a contest for some full packages. And so that's going to be announced um, soon. So it's just, it's well worth your time. It is such a great experience. Um, definitely if you do business within the Western States, but no matter where you're listening to this, if you want a great trade show, Las Vegas, and the dates are again, gentlemen, September 23rd to the 25th at the Paris, Las Vegas. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. And thank you all for listening. Um, I hope to see you at Western Roofing Expo. It is great. Um, I have to tell you, I think I've gone to probably over closing in on 30 years worth of shows. Um, it is spectacular and we hope you all can make it. As I said, you can find all this information on the Western States directory on Rivers Coffee Shop, Metal Coffee Shop, 
and Coding's Coffee Shop. Thank you for listening to these great podcasts. You can find all of our podcasts under the Read, Listen, Watch initiative under podcasts or on your favorite podcast channel. Be sure to subscribe and set those notifications. So we'll be seeing you next time or at the Western Roofing Expo. Catch us with Roofing Road Trips. See you next time. See you there. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a review. Thanks for listening. This has been Roofing Road Trips with Heidi from theroofersCoffeeshop.com.